Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on Italki. How are you today? Are you doing well? Today, I'm going to talk about drinking. Whether you enjoy alcoholic beverages or not, it is good to know some terminology related to ordering a drink. I have experience with ordering a drink in several places in the world, but I'm going to focus on the United States of America and England, as I have lived in these two places for many years. First things first, tipping culture. In the U.S., tipping or leaving a bit of money for a bartender and server is expected. However, in England, it is not expected. The appropriate amount to tip a bartender that has not served you food is 10 to 15 percent of the total check. If you receive food, then it is 15 to 20 percent. You can leave more money if you feel like you were given exceptional service. The reason why tipping is expected is because most businesses do not pay minimum wage to these employees, as they receive tips to make up the difference. They will usually be paid half of minimum wage. For example, If minimum wage in Ohio is $7.50 per hour, then bartenders and servers will receive $3.25 per hour. Many of the servers and bartenders that I know usually make well over minimum wage by the end of the week because of the amount of money they make on tips. In England, every employee must make minimum wage at least, but it is a good idea to tip if you can, which I do on occasion, especially if I have received exceptional service. When going from the United Kingdom back to America, it is difficult to sometimes remember how to properly tip. Let us move on to talking about various types of drinks. If you do not drink alcohol, then depending on the place, you can order various things such as pop, water, juice, and mocktails. I say pop because Ohioans typically use this word. However, you can also call it soda, soda pop, coke, or fizzy drink. Fizzy drink is one that you could use in the UK whereas pop and soda pop are mainly used in America. Soda and Coke are used in both countries. Mocktails are also called virgin cocktails or non-alcoholic mixed beverages. They are usually made with various juices and or pops and syrups and sometimes tea or coffee. Mocktail is a more common term in the UK and virgin cocktail is used in the US. These types of beverages are usually delicious and they tend to be very similar to their alcoholic counterpart, but with a bonus of not getting drunk. One of my favorite virgin cocktails is a virgin pina colada, which contains pineapple juice and coconut cream. If you want the alcoholic version, you add rum. As of recently, I have noticed many pubs and breweries are offering alcoholic-free beer and ciders. If you enjoy a beer or cider but cannot drink, Now you can have the taste of one of those, but without the alcohol. I enjoy the non-alcoholic cider, but the beer sometimes isn't as tasty to me. The cider reminds me of fruit juices. If you are the type of person that enjoys alcohol, then there are plenty of options of the various drinks that you can enjoy. First, let us talk about one of my favorites, gin. Gin is a distilled alcoholic drink that derives its predominant flavor from juniper berries. It is made from barley or other grain and can be flavored with many different botanicals such as coriander seeds, lemon peel, orange peel, angelica seed, and more. I enjoy gin on its own over ice or with tonic. Vodka is another distilled alcoholic drink. Vodka does not normally have a taste. You can flavor vodka, but is mostly used for mixed drinks also known as cocktails. Hence, it does not always need to be flavored as it takes on the flavor of the thing it is mixed with. It is my least favorite alcohol. I would rather have gin. Next is rum. Rum is made by fermenting, then distilling, sugarcane molasses or sugarcane juice. Then it is usually aged in oak barrels. Rum can be drunk on its own or with ice or in a cocktail, such as a pina colada, cuba libre, or a mojito. If you enjoy rum on its own, then you might enjoy whiskey. Whiskey is distilled then aged in oak barrels. Whiskey is sometimes difficult for people to enjoy as it it has a high proof of alcohol. Many people do enjoy it straight or on the rocks. On the rocks means with ice. You can make cocktails out of whiskey, such as old fashions and whiskey sours. I do not enjoy every type of whiskey, but I do tend to like American whiskeys more than Scottish. 
Scotch whiskey can be made using peat, and I'm not a fan of the taste it gives the beverage. Tequila and mezcal are great alcoholic beverages. Tequila and mezcal are both made through distillation of sugars found from the blue agave plant. Mezcal is typically distilled in clay pots and has a stronger smoky flavor. Tequila is commonly used in cocktails such as tequila sunrises, margaritas, and palomas. Many people drink both tequila and mezcal straight. Tequila can be done as a shot with salt and lime. I once made jello shots for our friends, and one of them ended up falling asleep on our dining room table. They were a lot stronger than anticipated. Other alcoholic beverages that you may want are wine and beer. There are many different types of wine, but they are separate into color, red, white, and orange. You can also have champagne and sparkling wine, which are similar to wine. You can order wine by the glass or by the bottle in many places. You can also choose between a tall or short glass, how much in volume that you want in your glass. There are many different types of beer that can be available in several places in the U.S. and U.K. In the U.K., beer is typically served as a third, half, schooner, pint, or a stein. Not every place offers every size, but practically all of them have the option of half or pint. You may also have the choice of a bottle or a can of beer. I enjoy cask, keg, bottled, and canned beer. I think I've explained enough about different types of beverages. Sorry, it was mostly about alcoholic, but it is a common thing for adults to consume and there are many different varieties. I have not covered all of the different types of alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks, so maybe I can cover those in another episode. Before I go, I will give you an example of how to order a drink in both countries. May I please have a beer? I would like a Guinness, please. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time. Bye.